I know that I'm a little bit late to talking about this topic, as the whole Pokemon fusion craze has tied down in the past couple years, but in case you missed it or have no idea what a Fusan is, today I'm going to be going in depth and explaining the Pokemon fusion trend. Pokemon Fusion is exactly what it sounds like, two Pokemon fusing together to create a brand new Pokemon-esque creature. While we have had something like this appear in the mainline Pokemon games before, once in the original games with Bill, and the other time in Generation 5 where it was featured as a pretty big plot point, I'm going to be talking about all of the community creations and fusions rather than legitimate canon examples of fusions from the mainline Pokemon games. So consider this a warning. Once again, this video is going to be about the Pokemon community's reception and creations, rather than the mainline game's examples. So if you're offended by talking about something that isn't technically official Pokemon stuff, then I'd recommend getting out of this video as soon as possible. Another quick note, but you'll be able to find links to all of the pictures and artist pages in the description below. You should go check them all out because they made some pretty cool fusion art, and a lot of them have even more awesome creations and pictures that I won't be showcasing in this video. Alrighty, let's dive right in and look at the beginnings of the Pokemon fusion trend. Well, I'm sure that fusing Pokemon together was an idea that had existed in fans' minds since the first games. The first truly big time it started to circulate the public was way back in November of 2008. A message board called Congregate held a contest where posters were invited to try to make the coolest Pokemon fusions by merging the in-game sprites. Many entries were received, and the winner was a fusion that had elements of Giratina, Matang, Articuno, Alakazam, and Infernape. After this contest, Pokemon fusions started to get a little bit more traction, and the idea started to spread around the internet. Various websites and forums got dedicated boards just for Pokemon fusions, and there were even groups solely dedicated to making custom sprites of fusions. Despite all of this popularity though, it was still a relatively uncommon idea to the general Pokemon fan. On August 8th, 2010, Alex Onsager launched the Pokemon Fusion Generator website, and this is where I feel like Pokemon Fusion really went mainstream and almost reached the peak of its popularity. The Pokemon Fusion Generator was able to fuse the Fire Red and Leaf Green sprites of any two Generation 1 Pokemon together and yield a new, oftentimes horrifying, result. After the Generator release, fusions really started to get popular and well known. Something that could have possibly contributed fusions getting so popular with fans, besides the Generator, was that in February of 2012, Black 2 and White 2 were announced alongside the Curum fusions. With a legitimate Pokemon game incorporating fusions, albeit in a limited way, I think that really helped boost the idea of Pokemon fusions in general for many of the fans out there. The next notable thing that happened with fusions was that in November of 2012, we saw the culmination of PokeFusion's popularity, a fan game. Pokemon Fusion Generation was released, which featured Pokemon fusions as a central part of the game. This fan game took ideas and designs from the community, rather than trying to build off of what Black 2 and White 2 did regarding fusions. The fusions had different types and moves, it was pretty cool to see an entire fan game dedicated to this idea. This was about the time that I really started to see Pokemon fusions almost everywhere. With the new fan game and also with how easy creating a fusion was made due to the generator, it seemed like almost everyone in their elith was talking about and making fusion Pokemon. Eventually, with how widespread fusions were becoming, we started to see more and more awesome fan art rather than just the fused sprites of old. Tumblr and other art websites were running mad with fusion fan art, and a lot of it was actually pretty cool and good. This was truly the peak of Pokemon fusions, but like most popular trends, it eventually began to decrease in steam, and now fusions aren't quite as popular as they once were. Now don't get me wrong, fusions are still pretty popular, and I see fusion fan art every once in a while too. One of the Pokemon trading card game artists, Tokia, recently made a couple of fusions as well. It's far from being an obsolete idea, but compared to the popularity it had in the past couple years, it's definitely been slowing down. And there we go! That's just a quick overview of the Pokemon fusion trend that's been happening for the past couple years. Even though it has lost a little bit of the excitement behind it, it's still pretty interesting to see an artist rendition of two Pokemon fusing together. 
I see tons of people wanting Game Freak to revisit the idea of Pokemon Fusion in future games, but make it so that a wide variety of different Pokemon can fuse together, like all of the fan art does. While I'm not sure if I'd like to have every Pokemon be able to fuse, I think that if they expanded upon the fusion idea from Generation 5, it could be kind of cool to see. So what do you guys think? Do you like Pokemon fusions? Maybe you only like the official ones in real Pokemon games. Maybe you just hate the idea in general and feel like it's overly complicated and looks bad. Feel free to leave your own thoughts and opinions on fusions in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll fuse you later.